it's, it's very possible that the other person might not see you this way. So you hear me talking about um, all of the energy that comes from it, whether it's um, masculine energy, social energy, financial. Maybe the other person don't see you like this. And if you want to do things for them, take them to dinner, buy them stuff, they don't mind that, and they'll let you. But if they do not feel this attraction for you in this way, um, you can't ride on that train. You can't go down that route, down that road. So the stuff that I'm talking about is a very specific lane that everybody is not allowed to go into. The stars and the moon got to really line up for it to work unless there's just a money transaction. But other than that, it has to be some type of connection. And um, that force is usually some type of uh, intervention from somewhere else. Because everybody don't feel this for everybody that they see. Like when you get out there in traffic and you're driving, you don't always feel this type of energy for the other people in the cars. You know, bah, bah, you want to honk your horn and tell them to get out of the way. You don't feel this type of force. So this is a very sacred, like the way they do fraternities and sororities, um, the Ku Klux Klan, um, the police department. Um, reds and blues and whoever else, uh, vice lords, uh, all of this, the gang-related stuff, it's a specific clique. Like even the way the coaching stuff works, it's, it's just a group, small group that have this attachment and they work together. Even Jesus with the 12 disciples, small groups. So having this type of energy for everybody, it just doesn't work naturally. It would have to be forced and some people call that rape. And you're not supposed to do anything like that, forcing or pushing anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. You need to have full-fledged consent. And um, if you're using it the real way, the natural way, without it being monies or some type of negative vibe or whatever created, then this is one of the greatest things in the world that we have as a gift. But if there's no actual attraction for the other person, then this may not ever happen. So this zone that I'm telling you about, this this place that has this uh, freakish type of um, feeling to it, like a uh, a tingling, a tickling sensation. This zone where it's like you say, "What is this?" You know, when you cross over and and you forget about bills, you forget about but if, if there's no attraction, if that person doesn't have any attraction for you, y'all can sit with each other all day. It's not going to change anything. It's not going to make that other person feel that way about you. You know, you don't want any of this, somebody giving it to you because they feel sorry for you or with some type of mercy thing that they're doing. You will want to be pure and authentic. That's the only zone I'm talking about. So again, and, and shout out to Prince. Forget about them wars and stuff like that. All of that battling and confusion and chaos. Man, what's up? I would rather be, like I said, with my woman on the couch making love. That's just the best place to be. Forget all of this chaos and stuff. So I'm telling you right now, um, you need to have an attraction. There needs to be this. If not, it's not going to work. I love y'all.